Hi, I'm Terry from Ben and Biscuits Boarding and Training Facility. This is Star. She's done really good. She's not been on a leash much at all, if at all, before she came here. So we made a lot of progress. I'm using a prong collar. Um, eventually, much she won't need that, but she was trying to kind of bolt. And every once in a while, she still tries to do that when we're healing. So the prong collar works really good. Um, when you come and pick her up tomorrow, I'm going to explain to you how you use that. You never keep it tight. Keep it loose like this. And when you feel it get tight, just give a little pull and release. And it makes the correction she needs. So um, this is a short leash. It's only like four feet. But you can use anything from a four to six foot leash. I wouldn't use anything much longer than that. <clears throat> and I've trained her with, she's on my left side um, all the time. So whenever you do any of these exercises, dog's on your left side. Um, we're going to do about four or five exercises. We're going we're gonna to do the heel unleash, the sit stay, the down stay, and the recall. We're going to use hand signals and verbal commands through it all. When we return, we'll start out with a heel unleash. Okay, again, like I said, she's always going to be at your left side. Hand signal to sit. I usually tell her to sit. Bring your hand up like this, means to sit. <coughs> Excuse me. Take your first few steps, ask her to heel. When you stop walking, she should automatically stop walking. If she sits, that's really good. We're trying to get her to do that. Um, if she tries to go behind you or through your legs, which she was doing a lot when I first got her, um, she was rebelling even walking on a leash when I first got her, so she's doing much, much better. But if she tries to do that, don't stop and cater to her. Try to keep walking, get her back on the correct side and keep walking. If you stop, then you're just gonna find yourself doing that and stopping every time she wants to do that. So let's see how she does. You ready, Star? Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. It's okay, baby. Good girl. Heel. Star. Sit. Good girl. Heel. Exercise finish and praise your dog. Good girl. Okay, we're gonna do the, the sit stay. And again, sit at your left side. The next hand signal to tell her to stay. Put your palm of your hand in her face. Tell her to stay as you back up slowly. And like I said, I only got a four foot leash. I would start out with short leash and then you can work up to six foot or even longer clothesline rope or something if you want to afterwards. But, and only leave, you're only gonna go out there, reinforce the stay as you walk out there. Turn the face her and tell her to stay only for a few seconds. Then you're going to return. Do not release her until you get all the way back and standing exact same spot as when you started out. Otherwise, she'll anticipate when you start coming back, she'll get up. Then when you try to catch her later on and she's off leash, she won't let you get all the way back to her. So think ahead. Okay, ready? Sit. Stay. 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 Exercise finished, praise your dog, good girl. Okay, again, we're gonna do the down stay, so you're gonna put her in a sit at your left side, turn her face her, put your finger right to the ground. She wasn't very good at all about going down before she's getting better and better. If you ask her twice and she doesn't do it, gently, I pull one foot out, kind of push her back down gently to get her to lay down. Sometimes she does it really good, sometimes she doesn't, so Make sure that uh, you reinforce, once you get her down, reinforce stay before you walk away or she's gonna get up. Hey, Star, down. Come on, down. Good girl, stay. 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 Exercise finished, praise your dog, good girl. Okay, we're gonna do the recall. Excuse me. <clears throat> Put her again at your left side to sit. Hand signal to sit. Excuse me. Hand signal to stay. You're gonna walk away from her, just like your sit stay. Turn and face her, and the last hand signal you're gonna do is bring your hand to your chest as you tell her to come. Hopefully she comes and sits at your feet. Usually she tries to put her nose between my, my legs. Let's see how she does. Star, you ready? Sit, stay, stay. Always reinforce the word stay or she's gonna follow you, stay.
Star, come. Sit. Good girl, exercise training. Good girl. Okay, for conclusion, Star's done really well. Um, the biggest thing is to have a lot of patience, and there are times when she will not want to walk with you. She doesn't want to go a direction you want to go, but you have to make her. Don't go like this and try to get her to come. If she don't want to do it, she's, she's not going to do it. Put your, just look where you want to go and just kind of start walking and pull and release, pull and release, and tell her, good girl, she'll walk, she'll go right along beside you. Um, she still rebels every once in a while, but kind of ignore it. Don't get aggressive on the leash and um, it'll get better. It's already gotten better and better and better. Um, I would do this at home at least once a day. And that way when you need to, I know you live on property and a lot of times they run free, but when you need to, or you want to take the dog somewhere, she has to get used to going on a leash and she'll get better and better. These cattle dogs are, they are good on farms. A lot of them run free and that's great, but they can also, I've seen them in dog shows in obedience do very, very well. So totally capable of walking on a leash really good. So. Um, the short time she's been here, she's made huge gains, huge. So she's only gonna get better and better if you do it. And you'll be thankful for it when you do need it, which you will at times. Um, I do what I do did out here. He unleashes, the sit, stay, the down, stay, the recall. I try to do that every day. And if I can't, if it's raining, I try to do it inside the best I can. Um, sometimes it's difficult with a lot of dogs in there, but um, End it on a good note and do not do the training any more than like 10 or 15 minutes. I'm doing a lot of talking now, so it's taking longer, but usually we come out here and it's, it's not even 10 minutes. Boom, 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 boom. I end it on a good note and we go. Going through doorways, I put her in a sit, tell her to stay. I open up the doorway, tell her to stay. As I walk through, I tell her to come behind me. I say, okay, star come. And she follows me in that way. When you open up a door, she doesn't try to bolt out. Also doing two dogs that way. You can work on her when you get her home, just herself tomorrow and it'll be a lot better than trying to work with two dogs trying to go out a doorway at the same time. Um, anyway, she's done very, very good. Is she capable of doing an off-leash? It'd be a lot of work, but I um, can't remember her age either, but uh, give a little bit of time. Are you working her at home? And she's capable of doing an off-leash, but um, it, would, it would be a lot of work. Anyway, um, I enjoyed working with her. Thank you very much. Good dog.